It's a busy day in Decatur. It's lunchtime and people are on their way to grab a quick bite. But it's also a perfect time for panhandlers to make some cash. Just off the property of North Walmart on North Prospect Drive, several panhandlers can be seen daily and might make more than you think. So we went undercover, making this sign reading needs money down on luck. We stood on the corner and within minutes received our first donation. God bless you, thank you so much, thank you. One for two bucks and then another for 10. So we made 12 bucks in under an hour. God bless you, thank you All so right, much. I, you don't give me this much. No, man. Thank, thank you. And another, Appreciate and even some food. I said I don't have any cash, but I can buy you a meal if you're hungry. We denied and told Donna Brooks about her story. We have a camera hidden right over there. She says it's not uncommon to see panhandlers here, but it's hard to tell which ones actually need money or food. Then we met this man. We blurred out his image, but a pro at getting easy money and quick to say how much. How, how yeah. much, 101? In less than 10 minutes. 101 bucks in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Also, what he spent it on. Before I took out my sign, yeah. you know, yeah. before I even took it out, the woman had her hand out, gave me a dollar bill. <laughs> really? About like five, six cars later, the woman gave me a bill. I thought it was a 10. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I can get some beer. <laughs> they think, oh man, this guy needs to eat. <laughs> Give him some money. <laughs> and then you can even buy a few drinks with it. Oh yeah. So, is it legal? After this officer drove right past us, we thought we had our answer, but went to the city manager for more information. I think it's safe to say that that uh, that we know that some of these individuals aren't who they say they are as far as the, their actual need. McCready tells us panhandling can sometimes fall under unlawful solicitation and provided us documents saying it's illegal to panhandle in an aggressive manner in a public area or on a private property if the owner, tenant, or lawful occupant has asked the person not to solicit on the property. Based on these rules, what these men were doing is legal. But McCready says they're operating within a fairly gray area within the law.